Well, look what's back at my shop here. My grandpa just uh, dropped this off for me. Uh, apparently, he must have took it out and uh, tried to roll up the window. And I'll show you what it does. I roll it down, it goes down fine. I try to go back up, and it it just sinks further. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a look at it. Well, you know, this is piddly crap. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't fix on my car, but you know, it's my grandpa's so all. <laughs> take all them screws out, yank the panel off, and see what I can do. Probably can't fix it without buying new parts, but. You know, I can get the window back up if you hold the switch and pull up on it, but apparently he don't want to do that, so I'm going to see if I can fix it. Well, this is uh, kind of what I figured uh, when he brought the stupid thing here. And I told him this, but uh, I believe that the motor there, there's a gear on that. Uh, and I believe that's stripped out, probably, probably made of cheap plastic or something. But to get that motor out, to get to the gear, you basically have to take these rivets out and take the window out and the regulator out now you know the arm here and all that and then either replace that little gear if you can find it or the whole motor for uh, 40 bucks or whatever it is and then rivet it all back in I don't think I have any rivets like that matter of fact I don't I know I don't so I'm gonna tell them <laughs> You can either spend 40 bucks and have me tinker with it forever in a day. Or when he rolls up the window, he can just push up on it a little, and a little and it'll come. That's the way I'd prefer to do it. But, whatever. We'll see what he says. Hopefully I don't have to tear this thing apart because it's just a pain in the ass. And honestly, for an 87 Ford that rarely sees the road, I don't think it's necessary. But we'll see what he says. Well, I've rolled the window down a little bit. Hopefully you can see that gear in there. That's uh, the big gear. And inside that motor there's a smaller one that spins as this goes up and down. And it drives that. And I'm pretty sure that that little gear inside the motor is what's stripped out. Um, figured I'd just show you that. Uh, it's a real big pain in the ass. I can't see it. Obviously the little little gear. but. You gotta basically drill these rivets out, and then uh, if these heads don't come off, then you have to chisel those. Then you take the regulator out, and uh, I wonder, yeah, that's probably how you gotta take the whole thing out unless you unbolt the track to pull the window out separately. I don't know, but basically, it's a big pain in the butt. What I should do is just <clears throat> take the uh, take the red door. <laughs> off my other truck out back there and bolt it up to here and put it back on and drive it up there and tell him it's fixed. He's got a red door now. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. I just figured I'd show you. I hope you can see it in there, that that gear, at least the top of it. And it, it's basically like a big arm. does that and lifts the motor and lowers it. So That's how those work. <clears throat> 